Hello, in this three-part video series, I'm going to be using After Effects to replace a computer screen. This technique can be used for any screen, mobile phone, tablet, television, or computer, any computer. In the first part, we are going to be taking a look at how to shoot and plan. The second part is going to be about how to track the screen using After Effects or optionally Mocha Pro or Mocha for After Effects. And in the third part, we are going to be using Keylight or any other keying plugin to key it and make the image or the video fit our screen. So for the first part, we are going to start by finding this. You can search in Google screen track image marker or anything similar to that. And you should get a cross with blacks and whites. And I'm going to be using this one. And you can download this one to the desktop. Let's name it track. We're going to be going to Photoshop. Once we are in the Photoshop menu, we are going to be opening a new file, 1920 by 1080. It depends on your computer's resolution. Now we are going to be creating a file that's going to be completely green and is going to have four markers. We are going to first use Edit Fill and we're going to fill this with a color and you can fill it with anything that looks greenish. Let's fill with this. So we got this. We're going to use Place Embedded and place this track to here. And we're going to not be using all of it but more on, on the center here. And we are going to create four of these to track it perfectly. Now you can see if you are in the move tool and press the command key or control key on Windows, you can see the distances. Now we're going to press the alt option key and drag it. So what we're trying to accomplish here is make all of these tracks the same <coughs> distance from each other so our track can track them perfectly. Now we use command and now it's about 1256. You go here and you can see it's 1150. So let's hold them both and we are going to use the left arrow key to center them and we are just going to be duplicating them both using the old key, drag them and now we're gonna use the command key click all so now all of the markers are in the center and they're all spaced equally apart from each other once we create this we are gonna save it to desktop as a PNG file and let's name it green screen track and no, no compression is necessary so we can see what we are having here now on Mac I, can, I know that if you open a file you can make it full screen actually this is a 1920 by 1080 but a Mac screen is not exactly that if you're creating for a Mac you should make it appropriate to your image size I know that on a Mac it's 1920 by 1200 so we are gonna add these areas and then we are gonna fill it with the same color and then we are gonna save it as a PNG and that should immediately fill everything as you can see it's my whole screen so this is the first part now we are gonna go ahead and shoot it. So now I'm gonna give you some tips about shooting this. Now you have a full screen, green screen on your computer with four tracks, that's good. Now if you're gonna be handhelding your camera be sure you're gonna be using a wide-angle lens with image stabilization to make your job easier. If you were to use a tra tripod, well, you wouldn't need to track at all. 
if you have anything like Glidecam, it would definitely be a good choice for this kind of job to make everything easier. But I know not everyone has a Glidecam, and it's not as some, and it's not something necessary. So I decided to handheld my camera using a 24 mm lens with image stabilization and I'm gonna be using that shot to track and replace the screen. On our second part we are just gonna be using After Effects and Mocha to replace that screen with anything we want. <laughs> 